Hello and welcome back to Sussex Squad Family TV on YouTube. Now breaking news. Prince Harry and Meghan have congratulated Elton John before his final farewell tour concert at LA Dodgers Stadium. And my family, it's always a blessing to see Prince Harry and Meghan. Now this is what Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, had to say about Elton's John's final farewell and quite frankly it's so sad that Elton John is retiring now this is what Harry and Meghan had to say Hi Elton Hi Elton We just wanted to say congratulations Congratulations and that we are just so proud of you we're so grateful that we were able to see you on your farewell tour also um, and thank you for Thank you for entertaining everybody for so many decades. Thank you for being the friend that you were for my mum. Thank you for being our friend. Thank you for being friends to our kids. And thank you for entertaining people right around the world. Um, even though this is officially your retirement, uh, this will not be your last gig, we know that. Um, but we love you and congratulations on an incredible career. My family, that is what Prince Harry and Meghan had to say about Sir Elton John, once again, it's so sad to see Sir Elton John retiring. And this guy, Elton John, has been quite, quite a very, very good friend of Prince Harry and Meghan. He has always supported Prince Harry and Meghan. This man, Elton John, was also a good friend of Prince Harry's late mom. And clearly, he has shown that he was a true friend. A true trustworthy friend by extending the same love and affection that he had towards Harry's late mom to Prince Harry himself and towards Prince Harry and Meghan and even their kids as you've had. Now my family, once again, let me say once again what Prince Harry and Meghan, you know, said. Meghan said this in a quote, Hi Elton. We just wanted to say congratulations and that we are just so proud of you and that we are able to see you on your farewell tour also. Now, Prince Harry chimed, chimed in and spoke about the special re relationship that Elton John had with his mother, the late Princess of Wales, and continues to have with him and his young family, including his toddler, children Archie Harrison and Lily Bet, Lily, Diana, and truly, my family, truly, Elton John is a true friend. A true friend that's become family to Prince Harry and Meghan. And Prince Harry said this also, that, and I quote, and thank you, Elton John, for entertaining everybody for so many decades. Thank you for being the friend that you were to my mom. Thank you for being our friend. Thank you for being friends to our kids and thank you for entertaining people around the world. Even though this is officially your retirement, this won't be your last gig. We know that, but we love you and congratulations on an incredible career. And indeed, congratulations to Sir Elton John. And Megan also placed her head next to her husband, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. And I love this video. I just love seeing them, you know, so happy and living out their lives in peace, in joy, in happiness. Just imagine waking up in the morning and the first thing you see is this beautiful video of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. My family, this is quite a great joy. A great joy. Seeing Harry and Meghan happy makes us all happy, makes me happy. And I know in my heart, it also makes you as well as happy as I personally feel just seeing Prince Harry and Meghan happy. I know that each and every single one of you also do feel the exact same way we all feel my family. And Meghan, you know, laying her head on her husband's shoulder, then Prince Harry doing the same thing, you know, laying his head, you know, on Meghan. My family, this is what love is. This is what love is. When you choose peace, when you choose joy, when you choose happiness, this is the life that awaits you. A life of peace, 
a life of joy, a life of happiness. And such is the life that Prince Harry and Meghan have chosen. Not just for each other, but also for their children. Baby Archie and Baby Girl Libertana. I mean, we have seen so many people who call themselves, Oh, I knew Diana. Oh, I knew her. I knew and look, Diana would have never wanted for Prince Harry to step down as a senior member of the royal family and leave the UK. We've had those phonies who have been saying those things about, you know, that they knew Diana. In reality, they never knew Diana because if they knew Diana, they would know that Diana would have wanted one thing, for her son, Prince Harry, to be happy. Diana herself said that, you know, I compensate. I give Prince Harry much love and more attention to compensate for any unfair treatment. That is what the late Diana said before she passed away. Because when Diana saw just how bad her son was being treated, even at such a young age, he, she saw the unfair treatment towards Prince Harry as a spare, how he was treated. Even Diana said he was more like a backup because that's how the farm saw Prince Harry. And that's why Diana showered Harry with so much love and affection, more love and affection to compensate for any unfair treatment. That is what Diana did. And my family, for those who truly knew Diana, they would know one thing. Diana would have loved to see her son, Prince Harry, happy. Diana would not have loved for people who say, Oh, I look, I, I knew Diana. She would have not liked for those people to go after his son, to harass his son, to bully his son, to incite hate against her son. Diana would never have wanted that. Why? Because Diana was a good mother, a good mom to Prince Harry. And Diana even spoke about leaving the UK because of how unfairly she was being treated by the UK tabloid press, which constantly hunted for negativity time and time again. As Diana said, the UK press only hunts for negativity time and time again. And in different countries, she is treated well, with dignity, with respect. And so she thought about leaving, but she couldn't. Why? Because she had two kids. She had two kids. And she knew that if she chose to leave, to leave then the crown, the farm, they maintain custody of both kids. And that's why she couldn't move to a different country. And so she stayed in the UK. She put up with so many things. Bullying, intimidation. Harassment. She took it all. Just to stay close to her children. Just because of the love that she had towards her children. And my family, a mom, any good mom, will only love to see her children happy. And any single person who said, oh, I knew Diana. And Diana would never have wanted this and that. Those are phonies. Those were never Diana's friends. Those are people who cashed in on exploiting Diana and are now cashing in on exploiting the late Diana's son and his beautiful beloved wife. A wife that he loves. And Megan, who also loves her husband Prince Harry. Despite everything, one thing that I'm happy to see is that Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, choose love. They choose love in their lives. They choose happiness. They choose to be happy. They choose joy. They choose their children. They choose love. And let us all do the same thing. Let us all choose love. So Diana would only have ever wanted for her son to be treated with dignity and respect. Something that the farm has never shown towards Prince Harry. Something that they never sh have shown towards Prince Harry. And especially towards his wife, Meghan. Because the farm has clearly rejected Prince Harry's bride. Due to her race. Due to the fact that she's an American citizen. Despite that, I love the fact that Diana gave birth to an amazing, amazing son. Prince Harry. Who truly 
has his late mom's heart. My family, on seeing these photos of, you know, this video of Prince Harry and Meghan, fans have been quick to respond to what they've seen. Now, someone said that I would like to sue for emotional damage with crying emojis because they love to see Prince Harry and Meghan. So, so happy. So, so happy. So, so joyful. And they choose love. They choose to be happy. They choose their kids. Not abuse. Not racism. They choose happiness. Harry and Meghan don't choose to be disrespected every single day. No wonder they left. They choose happiness. And I love the fact that you know, whenever you look at Prince Harry and Meghan, my family, if you look at them, this is what true love looks like. What you're seeing right there, that is what true love looks like. This is what true love looks like. This is what happens when you choose love. Harry and Meghan have been through so much together. In what could break any couple in the entire world, the bullying, harassment, the many lies that have taken a significant toll on both Harry and Meghan's mental health. And that bullying, those insults, those lies that the firm have spread to smear Harry and Meghan's name, they could have broken any couple. They could have broken any relationship. You know, I have seen some instances whereby a woman is being rejected by a different family and because of that it breaks you know a relationship or even a marriage but this time despite the rejection of the farm it hasn't been able to break Prince Harry and Meghan's marriage the farm wanted for Harry to be miserable the press they want Harry back to humiliate him for Harry to go back to his role of being humiliated, of being the scapegoat for Prince William, for being the third wheel to work for Prince William and King Milton. That is what the press wanted. That is what the farm wanted. Not for Prince Harry to prosper, not for him to be happy, for him to befall the fate of other previous spares, from Margaret to Andrew. The same thing is what they wanted to happen to Prince Harry. My family, I am thankful. No matter what they have done, no matter what they have said, they have never, I will never ever be able to break this happy, dearly beloved couple. That brings so much light to us all. That makes us all so happy just to see them happy. And that is what Harry and Meghan do for us. Seeing them happy makes us all see the power of love because make no mistake this is the power of love the power of love over hate because Harry and Meghan have been through and experienced so much hate and they still get so much hate but you know what this is proof that, that hate is not winning that love truly triumphs over hate so my family, please always choose love. Never choose hate. Choose love. Love will always try over hate. Always, always and forever. Now allow me to read a couple of comments, you know, from what people have said about seeing this video. Once again, let me replay this video with the audio for you to hear once again what Harry and Meghan said. It's quite a joy to see them, my family. Quite a joy. And I want you to hear exactly, you know, what was said by Prince Harry and Meghan. Because seeing them happy makes us all happy. And brings us so much great joy and so much happiness, my family. And this is it. Congratulations. Congratulations. And that we are just so proud of you. We're so grateful that we were able to see you on your farewell tour also. Um, and thank you for... Thank you for entertaining everybody for so many decades. Thank you for being the friend that you were for my mum. Thank you for being our friend. Thank you for being friends to our kids. And thank you for entertaining people right around the world. Um, Let me pause there for a while. 
you know, I love how when Prince Harry says that, you know, thank you for being a great friend to our kids, Megan says, yes, you know, silently. I love how she says it because my family, that is just so, so genuine. That is so, so genuine. It's a true reflection of the person that they have next to them, of the people that they surround themselves with. People who are not toxic to Harry and Meghan's mental health. People who have a very, very good heart. Prince Harry and Meghan surround themselves with people who are positive to them. If you are negative, then you won't be in Harry and Meghan's life. If you go on TV to spew hate, Red, to spew hatred towards Harry's wife, Meghan, towards Prince Harry himself, why? Because he chose to protect his mental health. Make no mistake, you are no friend of Prince Harry. You are no friend of Meghan. You are just someone who wants to cash in on hate mongering. And that is what majority of the liars in the UK press have done. That is what some people who call themselves, Oh, I was Diana's this. I knew Diana. I, this is what Diana would have wanted. Lies, 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 lies. Would Diana have wanted to watch her son? Be harassed every single day. Be led upon every single day. The answer is no, my family. The answer is no. And let's finish up on this clip kindly. Elton John, I say to you also, we love you and congratulations on your incredible career. And my family, I just love also this part. Sing. I love this part. Oh, so cute. So cute of Prince Harry and Meghan. And you know the currents are going to be deeply, deeply mad about it. Prince Harry said, our kids, our kids, you know, I remember how this Karen called Megyn Kelly was upset because Megan called Harry my husband. Now, will she also be upset because Harry called Archie and baby girl Lippe Diana, our kids, our kids, our kids, because those, those, that, those kids, Archie, Libertana are the fruit of Prince Harry and Meghan's love. Because the Karens will get to know this. Every time they look at those kids, they see and realize and get reminded that Prince Harry and Meghan sleep together every single night. Don't tell Meghan Kelly that because she'll be deeply, deeply weeping furious, angry, with jealousy towards Megan. Because Megan got the good prince. Megan got the kind-hearted prince. Megan has a good man. He's married to a good man with a good heart. And his name is Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. My family, fans have been all up, you know, on Twitter. Being so happy, and so joyful at seeing Prince Harry and Meghan. And I want to share with you some comments from the fans. From what they've said from seeing Prince Harry and Meghan today. Someone called Glow said that it's Prince Harry and Meghan congratulating Elton John on his farewell tour. Don't they look great? Modesito is really good to these two. Prince Harry and Meghan. And indeed... Modesto is good for Harry and Meghan. That is what happens when you choose love and not hate. Hate can never and shall never ever win. Never ever will hate ever win. Only love wins, my family. Only love wins. Now, my family, someone said that it's funny how when I'm on Twitter defending Harry and Meghan from the smears, I somehow I sometimes wonder how it affects them. Then when we get to see a chance 
of seeing them or seeing Harry and Meghan, they're always so, so happy, giddy, and glowing. It is a relief and heartwarming that they are not letting the smears affect them. Wow, 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 wow. I kind of, I like this comment from someone called Adelina Taylor. I like it, I like it. My family, similarly, I always love to see Prince Harry and Meghan smiling. So, so happy and full of joy, peace, happiness. Because you know what? A couple of days ago, there was this rumor that the trolls were going on and on about, oh, Harry and Meghan are separating. Oh, look, Harry went to Florida, Hawaii without Meghan. Is this confirmation that they are separating? My family, those trolls and those currents have been wishing for a long, long time. I think from the moment Harry and Meghan's relationship became public for Prince Harry and Meghan to separate, to break up, even a carnival or so-called expert called Dicky Arbiter said that, and I quote, this won't last. It's only a fling, he said. Why? Because Prince Harry was in a relationship with someone who is biracial. And fast forward to now, despite what they faced, many, many headwinds that could break any couple, despite everything, look at them now. Look at how joyful, how happy Prince Harry and Meghan are. My family, Harry and Meghan, are not allowing those smears to affect them like it did while they were in the UK. I remember when Harry was, you know, doing those, like an interview with James Corden, Harry said that, was asked a question, why did you leave the UK? That place was too toxic for my mental health and to, for my, for the mental health of, you know, my wife. Prince Harry said that to James Corden. And my family, we are seeing what happens when you choose to prioritize your mental health. You smile. You radiate with peace, joy, and happiness. You have that glow that you see in Harry and Meghan. And that's why when I wake up in the morning to see a photo, a video of Prince Harry and Meghan smiling, Meghan laying her head next to her husband's shoulder, it brings me great joy and so much happiness to see them happy. And I know it does for you as well. I know that you feel the same way to see Harry and Meghan so happy, radiating with joy, as I feel every time I get the chance of seeing Prince Harry and Meghan. And I know you feel the same way. And also, I want to thank every single genuine friend in Prince Harry and Meghan's life, people like Elton John, who are truly, truly, I want to say this again, Truly, the late Princess Diana's true friend. Because these people have seen what Harry has faced at the hands of the UK tabloid press and have constantly stood in defense of Prince Harry and Meghan. Elton John is one of the people who called out the press abuse, the press harassment of Prince Harry and Meghan and compared it to what they were doing to the late Diana. Saying that the harassment of the UK press was what contributed to the untimely death of the late Princess Diana, who was chased to her death in France next to a person who was not white, as Prince Harry said in the Me You Can See. The pain of a son. My family, Elton John, is one such friend who have spoken spoken up and spoken out against the abuse of Harry and Meghan, the harassment and called out the press as a matter of fact, Prince Harry as you all know alongside Elton John David Farnish and Doreen Lawrence are suing the Daily Fail for alleging phone hacking tapping landlines amongst other you know Allegations, which if proven to be true, it could mean the end of the Daily Mail. 
So my family, as you can see, Elton John is one person who is firm in his support of Prince Harry and Meghan in calling out the UK tablet press for what it has been doing to Prince Harry and Meghan. The harassment, the smears, the hounding, the hate campaign. And I'm happy that Elton John is a true friend of Prince Harry and Meghan. He has seen what the tablets did to the late Diana. And he has spoken up about it. Kind of like how the 72 female members of parliament who saw the press abuse, vilification, harassment, and smear campaign, racism, directed towards Meghan. And they spoke up, as Prince Harry said in the Oprah interview. The 72 female members of parliament spoke up against the abuse, colonial anatons of the UK press coverage and the racism of the UK press. But yet Prince Harry's family did absolutely nothing, said nothing to condemn the abuse towards Meghan because they were the ones perpetuating those ab abuse in the hopes that they could ruin the spare's happiness. In the hopes that they could get back Prince Harry to go back to follow William and Kimbleton around. Because William and Kimbleton are so, so mediocre. Are so, so lazy. Because that's what they are. And that's what they've always been. They've always wanted for Harry to do the work. And then they jump in, swoop in and take the credit. So my family, Prince Harry is never ever coming back to that. Prince Harry, as you can see, he chooses time and time again to honor the vows that he has made towards his dearly beloved wife, Megan. He honors his vows. And that's why I respect Harry so, so much for what he's done. He isn't like Charles, who gave out stories towards Diana, leak against stories against Diana, leak stories against Diana. Like what Charles did to paint her, you know, that she is not well in the head. Like what Charles did. And on top of that, William also did the same thing to Harry. Like father, like son. King Charles is the same as Prince William. So my family, I'm happy that Prince Harry is not like the rest of them. Not like Charles. Not like William. Who have chosen to side with the UK tablet press in Peddling negative coverage, coverage against Harry and Meghan. Why? Because doing that covers up Prince William's alleged affairs with Rose Hanbury. Because Prince William is protected by the press because he is the future king of the UK. My family, what is hidden in the dark shall always come to light. Those same tablets will one day also turn on the rolls back in the UK. Mark my words. They keep feeding the monster. That is the UK Tower Press. One day that monster will eat the rest of the farm up. My family. Now someone said that Harry and Meghan are too cute and sweet. Happy to see them glowing and so full of joy. I'm so happy as well. You know, someone said that Someone called Brown said that a moment of silence for the crazy Karens who had their fingers crossed that the rumors of their separation were true. And you know what? You know what? A moment of silence for them. <laughs> well, every single evil plot, every single evil wish that they, you know, wish to happen to Harry and Meghan, to ruin a happy home. My family, karma will deal with those currents, those bitter currents. My family, someone replied that those rumors are projections of their faves, whom we know are not, are actually living separately. William and Kim Milton are allegedly living separately. Now, someone said that they are always coming up with new excuses. To prevent themselves from combusting. Someone else said that. You know what? I even heard this story that, you know, oh, like 
you know what? The reason why Megan is doing the Spotify deal because somehow Harry is working on a separation and Megan will be taking the money from Spotify. I'm like, seriously, the Karens are just so wishing so much for Harry and Megan to separate. So, so much. Every single day. It's like the only thing that they think of is Harry and Megan separating. So they make up stuff in their heads time and time again. Because those mere campaigns, those mirrors, they are just not working. The hate campaign is clearly a failure. It isn't working. It's failing. And the world can see that the hate campaign is indeed a huge, huge failure. The world can see it. And my family, Megan herself said this in the the car magazine article or the variety. Is it the car magazine article or the variety piece? I think it's the variety piece article that she did. Megan said that she and Harry wanted to accomplish, you know, so much because with many, many projects, they have many projects. In the Variety magazine piece that she did, Megan said that she and Harry had so many projects. And to accomplish all of that, they had to be able to divide and conquer. That is what they wanted to do. And that is what they are doing. They have divided the projects so they can be able to accomplish them much, much quickly and much, much sooner. For instance, Prince Harry is working on the Heart of Invictus documentary while Meghan works on the Spotify deal. It's simply using basic common sense for you to be able to accomplish many, many things. Sometimes you need to be able to divide work and that is what Harry and Meghan have done. And are doing and are doing a remarkable job at it just as megan said in the variety article some haters just can't you know megan says one thing the tabloid media the trolls see another thing oh megan thinks this way oh megan thinks that like that, that way megan says one thing they say another they constantly misrepresent what megan says time and time again and the hate clearly it isn't winning. The love that Harry and Meghan have towards each other, that is what is winning. No wonder you see the jealous currents so, so bitter when they see Harry and Meghan holding hands. They cause outrage. When they see Meghan calling Harry a husband, because Harry is Meghan's husband, they throw, they throw a tantrum like what Martin Kelly you know, has been throwing. Because they can't stand to see them happy. My family, I'm happy that Prince Harry and Meghan's happiness pisses off so many, many currents. Now, my family, someone else says that Harry and Meghan are such a beautiful couple and indeed madly in love. Which of course reflects in their faces. Someone said, please, no more pics of those boring in-laws like Kate and William on my timeline. Megan hasn't looked this happy and gorgeous ever since she left that frozen, boring, and evil royal family. My family. Even the Queen's funeral. We saw how sad both Harry and Megan were. How unhappy they were when they were there. And yet the press thinks that, oh... Harry is yearning to come back. Harry is begging to come back. Harry will come back with a tail between his legs to beg Charles and William for money. Clearly, that isn't working out, you know, in how they want to happen. Because they're seeing, time and time again, Harry and Meghan are becoming more and more successful. They are thriving. They're receiving awards. Even lately, they've been so angry about Prince Harry and Meghan receiving the Ripple of Hope Award. Lately. Seeing Harry and Meghan thriving is triggering for the currents, is triggering for the trolls, is triggering for Charles, William, Camilla and Kate Milton. Well, let them keep being triggered because Harry and Meghan will keep on thriving, will keep on being happy each and every single day of their lives. Now, some of Gigo say that these two, I can feel the love. He is so lucky to have her heart. Megan is a queen. 
I love this. True love. Someone else said that. My family, very, very much true. Prince Harry and Meghan are lucky to have each other. Lucky to have each other. I mean, think about this. Would you have put up with a fraction of what Meghan puts up with? You know, Jamil Jamil said that you take a lot of, you know, the S word. You take a lot of it, Megan. A lot of it that is so, so unfathomable as what Jamil Jamil said in the recent Ashley podcast. Make, you know, Jamil Jamil said that Megan takes a lot. And despite everything that she has taken, what does Megan say? Say? Megan says these words, and I quote, I love my husband more. I love my husband more. My family, please choose love each and every single day of your life. Love triumphs over hate. Hate can never and will never ever win. Now, my family, some of that, oh, love them. Thank you so much for sharing. What a beautiful message for Prince Harry and Meghan and tribute to Elton John. I said this before. If you want to be in Harry and Meghan's life, you'll be in Harry and Meghan's life. The people who are afraid to impose themselves to, to on, on Harry and Meghan's life who have gone to on TV, oh, Meghan ghosted me and then proceeded to spew hate against Harry and Meghan are people who are unworthy to be in Meghan and Harry's life. Are people who only wish to see them destroyed. And Prince Harry and Meghan will surround themselves with trustworthy people whom they can trust. And that is my wish for Harry and Meghan. Let them keep surrounding themselves with people whom they can trust. With people who love them. Let them keep surrounding themselves with that. People who actually love them. That is my wish for Prince Harry and Meghan. Now someone said that, you know, Meghan is glowing and looking younger. And indeed she is. Indeed she is. That is what happens when you choose love. Hate makes you age quickly. I mean, look at Kate Milton. She is the definition of what surviving is in the royal family. Look at that mirror, you know, article. That is a reflection of what the farm can do to you. They can suck the life out of you. That is what the farm does to women who marry into the royal family. Kate is not a happy woman. No wonder she hates Megan. Because Megan got the good prince. Because Megan got the good prince. And it pisses her off. It pisses her off to know that. And the world knows that Megan got the good prince with a very, very good heart. Now, someone said that, thank you for sharing. Congrats to Elton John on his famous career. He is a legend. Elton John, thank you for looking after Princess Diana's boy by always making sure that he is okay. And that, my friends, that, my family, is truly, was truly a true friend of the late Diana. And may God bless Elton John's heart. May God bless Elton John's heart. He's a good man. He's a good man. And in the UK, from what I've seen in the press, even from some celebrities, the UK needs more good people. With the hate that is constantly spewed in the tabloid media, the UK needs more and more good people my family it needs more and more good people my family some of that this is how they are very happy this is the definition of freedom guys fight for your freedom free at last free at last free at last free at last and harry and megan are free my family and i'm happy for them i'm happy for them. I'm happy to see them happy. Now, someone called Malahika Elena said that good morning to love and to love only. <laughs> yes, exactly. The first thing that I woke up when I saw this, this video on my timeline, I was so happy to see Prince Harry and Meghan. So, so happy. 
it brings us great joy to see them happy. I love seeing them happy. Now, my family, someone else said that their love is deep. And no wonder Taylor Perry said that I want that love, a love like theirs. As Tyler Perry himself said, if I don't have what Harry and Meghan have, then I don't want it. Those two are in love. Love, 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 love. Love wins, people. Love wins. And those are people who are close to Prince Harry and Meghan, who have access to Harry and Meghan. Yes, some people just to believe the lies from Karen's who don't even have access to Prince Harry and Meghan. I will never have access to Prince Harry and Meghan. Now, beautiful family, God keep you. Let his countenance be upon you and let his face shine upon you always. You will never fail. Amen. Keep going, mates. You are real soulmates. Wow, I like that. I like that comment and also a prayer. A prayer. A prayer and a comment. I like that 100%. Now, my family said that, said that, oh, Harry said that, thank you, Ellen, for being friend to our kids. Hashtag Harry and Megan. And indeed, and Megan was like, Megan approved that. My family, surround yourself with people who are positive to you. Surround yourself with people who are good to you. Surround yourself with people who whenever they see you face an injustice, don't cower and hide. People who speak up and support you. People like Elton John. That is what Elton John did. That is what female members of parliament in the UK did. That is what we members of the squad have done for Harry and Meghan. We have spoken up Call out the abuse. My family, thank you to every single person who supports and is always there for Prince Harry and Meghan. Now, some of that, I love them, Harry and Meghan, and indeed, I love them. I love them too, and I love them so, so much. I love them so much. We love them so, so much. And it's always, you know, so, so good to see Harry and Meghan happy. Now, someone said that, Hating on these two must be hard work. I can't imagine being anything but loving to them both. I love being a fan of two amazing people. Is it me or has Prince Harry gotten even finer since marrying Meghan? <laughs> and indeed, he has gotten a lot finer and a lot, lot happier. He is thriving. He is paying his own bills. If he was in the UK, he had to beg William for money. He had to beg Charles for money. And you've seen what happens when you plead with them for money. Like how Harry, during his time of need, wanted Charles' help. Charles would not take his son's phone call. Harry now is able to earn his own living. And my family, that is what he's doing. Earning his own living. And I am so proud of Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. My family, the love and devotion when Harry and Meghan looked into each other, someone else said that. And indeed, the love and the devotion when Harry and Meghan look at each other, those two are at peace. Both of them, both Harry and Meghan are so at peace. Meghan is glowing and beautiful. She needs to go tell us our, her skincare products Definitely, it will be a best seller. My family, the reason why Megan is glowing is because she has a good husband. She is happy. She is thriving. Next to her two kids, Archie and Libertana, and also next to an amazing, amazing husband, Prince Harry. Now, some of that, this is so, so cute. Prince Harry is a lucky man and Meghan is a, such a lucky, lucky woman. And no wonder the currents keep staying pressed and so, so unhappy, you know, when they see Harry and Meghan happy. Let them keep being unhappy at seeing Harry and Meghan happy. Now, someone say that love looks so good on these two. Love looks so good on Prince Harry and Meghan. And indeed, love looks so good. On Harry and Meghan. Meghan is glowing. Harry and Meghan are so cute. 
so so cute and they look so good together you look good when you smile harry and megan each and every single day we are so happy as fans to see you happy and smiling it brings us all so much great joy and so much happiness may you always keep smiling may you always keep choosing love and may god always bless you each and every single day of your lives each and every single day of your lives you harry you megan you archie libertana may god keep blessing you dorian nagland may god keep blessing you so so much you know my family i believe i've said even more than enough now i would like to hear your opinion about you know this kindly and with that and so much more stay tuned to our next video and don't forget to like subscribe and support our evergreen family on youtube and stay tuned to our next video can you feel the love today <laughs> my family harry and megan are in love and they are happy and it's quite a joy to see them happy May they always be happy each and every single day of their lives, my family. And with that, and so much more, my family. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Choose peace and happiness. Choose love. Prioritize your mental health. And wake up every morning being happy. You only, you only live once in this life. Live life to the fullest. Be happy. Choose happiness. Let no one ever tell you otherwise. Let no one, no one, nobody ever tell you otherwise. And with that, and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our Evergreen family on YouTube. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. So what do you think about Prince Harry's tribute to Elton John? I want your opinion. And my family love seeing their love. Elton John wishing you an amazing retirement. But as Harry said, this is not your last gig. We refuse to believe that this is your last gig. And we hope to see you even more and more oftenly. We love you, Elton John, and may God bless you abundantly. Thank you for being a true friend to Harry and Meghan. Thank you for being a true friend to the late Princess Diana. Thank you for always looking out for the late Diana's son. Stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of the Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.